Hello and welcome to the lecture that will prepare you for our class discussion on stock options. It's important that you view this before class so that we can learn more together in class. The video will discuss how stock options are reported on the financial statements and the basic terminology associated with stock options. When you complete this video, you should be able to state the terms that are stated in a stock option agreement, define the exercise price and the vesting period, compute the intrinsic and the time value, compute the total value granted to employees, and read a portion of the footnotes related to stock options. Let's take a look at how JCPenney reports employee stock options. Stock options are associated with ownership and are reported in the owner's equity part of the balance sheet. Common stock is increased when the employee exercises the option and purchases the stock. The cost of stock options is included in operating expenses on an income statement. A company does not generally show it in a separate line item, so we did not present an income statement in this video. Activity related to stock options is reported in the financing section of the cash flow statement. Take a moment and see if you can identify the line items related to stock options. The line items are proceeds from stock options exercised and the excess tax benefits from stock-based compensation. A stock option is an agreement between an employee and the company they work for that provides benefit to the employee if the company's stock price increases. The employee earns the right over time to purchase the common stock at a price hopefully lower than the fair market value of the stock. This price is referred to as the exercise price. One option plus the cash is traded for one share of common stock after the options are vested. Vested means the employee has earned the right to exercise the option. The total fair market value consists of two parts, the intrinsic value and the time value. Intrinsic value is the difference between the exercise price and the fair market value of the common stock at the time of the grant. It would be the gain in the employee would earn if they immediately purchased the common stock for the exercise price and sold it at fair market value. The time value is the expected increase in the price of common stock over the vesting period, the time the employee has to work to earn the options. The total fair market value of the stock option is equal to the intrinsic value plus the time value. This example for JCPenney illustrates how intrinsic value and time value is determined. The intrinsic value is determined by the difference in the current fair market value and the exercise price. The time value is the expected increase in the price of the stock over the vesting period. Take a moment to review the calculations. There was a time when stock options were not reported on the income statement as an expense. After much debate, all companies that issue stock options must expense the value granted to employees over the time the employee works to earn the options. The value is determined using a quant model such as the Black-Scholes model. We will discuss the logic behind the FASB rules in class. We will walk through an example of how to determine the total value of options granted and how to account for stock options on the next video. Thank you for being prepared for class. It is much appreciated.